Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 22 of the service portal training. In this day, we'll talk about that uh, one of the important services called HTTP services. So let's talk about that. What is the HTTP services? So HTTP service is nothing but a protocol that help you to get the data from the third party. Either you can get the data from third party or even you can, um, you know, get the data from your uh, own instance itself also. So let's say that um, uh, how we can do that. So this is first I will talk about the this is the our endpoint. Let's say that this is my endpoint and if I hit this endpoint, it returned me some data, right? So let's say that in your case that you need some data from the third party and once that data is available to the third party, you need to show in your JSON format or into that um, tabular format. In that case, how can we do that? That we'll discuss first. So first what we'll do, I'll go to this uh, widget that we are using the last few days called um, test services page. And here I'm going to modify that a uh, little bit here. So let's see that you can see we have various method. The first method is the gate method. And then second method is the post method. So when you do integration or when you uh, in try to get some data from the third party, there will be always a method. There will be an endpoint. There will be my uh, header. All these structure are defined here. You can go to my website. I'm just going to show you the demo purpose for this get method. So you can also using the post method also you can create some data to the third party from the service portal also. Okay. So here in for the demo purpose, I'm going to show that HTTP method get method so that from the some third party I'll get the data and bind to my HTML page. So let's say that this is the go home uh, page and what we'll do here, I'll remove everything. And then here I am going to uh, call some services, right? So I'm going to call the third party. And once I get the response from third party, I'll bind in the data here, okay? So I'm going to declare that scope dot um, third data, something like that, okay? And this is, I'm just going to declare in a, um, uh, you know, either I can put in a JSON format. So this is my third data or something like that. And here I'm going to bind that data at that moment. Now here I'm going to call this, um, this, uh, UI action. So let's say I'm just putting, I'm just reverting back, back as much as possible. So that, right now, whenever somebody click this go home button, this function will be called and then this function will be just show you an um, alert message called OK. Let's try one more time. So once you click that, you can see just alert message is showing. Now this is my JSON, that JSON have the data. What I will do here, so you can see this is the uh, 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 function which is getting called by clicking of this uh, button. I need to bind that HTTP method. To binding that HTTP method, what I have to do here, I need to, uh, you know, inject that HTTP services. For that, what I'll do, I'll dot uh, HTTP this service. Now, under this HTTP services, I need to declare here. So this service is declared here. Now I can call this HTTP service. So I'll put that HTTP dot, um, I mean, I'll do the HTTP and then here I'll start the bracket. Okay. Another bracket, I need to, uh, you know, define that all this method here. So I'll just stop here. And here I need to pass parameter. First parameter is the method. We need to pass the method name. What is the method? Our case, the method name is the gate. Okay. Now next parameter, we need to pass that URL. So what is the URL? We need to put that URL. So let's say that URL is this one, okay? So I'll copy this uh, endpoint and paste here. So this can be done from the dynamic, like the, data, the URL can be dynamic. Now, once we call this, we will get a response, right? The response we need to be defined somewhere. To, uh, to do that, what I'll do, I'll just remove the semicolon and type the then here, then function. Under this then, I'll put that function and then I'll say that success. And then what I'll do, I'll put the response and this will be our success function. And there will be a function called function, fail function. And then I will uh, uh, use, here. Yeah, this is for failure, okay? So uh, let's understand, we are going to call the HTTP. Under this HTTP, we are going to call that method. And then this method is going to have that get method we have the url and then we have a then function 
and then then have a um, and success and fail method okay so if integration got success it will come to this line and then uh, we will get the data if fail happens it will come to this data so let's put that um, let's do one thing that i am going to put this third um, dot response i am going to bind the response with this third uh, to do like this one okay and dollar third so i am going to binding this scope the third variable with the response and then in case also fail i am going to um, build that scope dot third with that fail I also have the parameter called response i am going to bind with the response let's first see that what is happening so right now whenever you click the button called go home this button will be hit to this uh, H, uh, this function and this function is going to call that HTTP service. Using the HTTP service, we'll get some data and based on that, we'll show the data into our table. Let's refresh that. Now, once we click here, you can see uh, there are um, something happen and then it get some uh, responses and this is the response we get. And under the response, we have a value called data under this data we have a this data okay so now what i'll do i'll just do that response dot data okay so that it can be more clarity now let's save that and refresh one more time so once i click that click here what will be happen this data i am getting from the third party right now let's see that if in case failure happened what will be happen let's say that i am putting that uh, to that endpoint that is not available. So here I'm putting that one one. What will be happen? Let's see. In this case, this website is not uh, uh, available, right? So what will be happening in our case? So let's say that we put the wrong URL or which is not available. In that case, it will go to this block called fail block and then it will bind to that data. So failure response will be binded. Let's see. So if you click here, you can see that it will be start getting the data and you can see we get the data equal to null, status equal to minus one, and then all this details. So it means that this response or that endpoint we hit actually doesn't have any data. So we will revert back to our base system or the base wave. Now what will be happen? We got a data, right? We got the data. Let's uh, refresh one more time. So once I'm clicking here, we are hitting to the third party. And this is the data I am getting. Now I this is the high time to I have to bind the data to the HTML format. So let's first create it uh, call user ID and then title and complete. Okay, so these two user ID ta, uh, user ID title and complete completed. So these three table I'm I'm this three thing I'm going to create. So let's say that I'm going to create a table under this table I'm going to create the table row okay and under this table row i'm going to create th and then first th is user id and then i'm going to put the second th equal to our uh, title okay and then next what will be happen next year and under this tier uh what we have to do we are uh, pointing to td under this td we'll say that third dot let's see user id this parameter and next i'll do one more thing let's say third dot title okay so i at that moment i'm uh, creating two field let's save that now refresh that one more time so right now we have a table and if we click user id you can see this user id is binding here so user id and then title we are getting that um call that one now we can create it one more field called completed 
and then we can create it that id also i'm going to create two more field id here and then complete it i'll copy and paste here and uh, we have id and we have completed flag right let's refresh one um, let's refresh our page and then we can see that um, we'll get more data so right now if we click that click here you can see we are getting user id id and title and then completed this one this all data right now what i'll do i'll create uh, one checkbox so so that people put that id or um, the id and then based on that they will get the title okay so for that what i'll do here i'll remove these all these um, let's say that third data and here i'm going to create a call input type equal to text so here i'll put that ng uh, model and then here let's say that um, i'm putting the model name called uh, user id okay and then uh, i'll close that okay so this is the user id i'm going to let's first print that and see what is happening this user id is printing properly or not okay let's refresh first here what will be happen we have a check uh, say let's say i'm putting that you can see whatever value i am putting all these uh, i am printing here okay now what i'll do i will uh, this ng model instead of the static number one what i'll do i'll bind here call dollar scope and then i will push this and uh, i'll pass this uh, here user id okay let's remove this one and save that what will be happen now what will be happen right now whatever user id i am going to pass that based on that user id the data will be given so if i put the user id equal to and click here it will integrate with that uh, user id that id and then based on that it is giving me that title okay so if I put that five and then five related ID and then their title will be given. So this is how we can integrate with the third party. We can pass the input parameter or we can pass some input. And then once we get the response from the third party, we can bind here into our table read format or any other format. So let's say I am putting the three, although this user ID is always static, but ID and then title you can see always changing. Okay. So it's I'm just giving you that one um, one HTTP example. You can integrate with any of these n number of application um, like Jira. Um, we can pass the story number and then you can get the story details, something like that. So whatever you needed, you can do that based on uh, using this HTTP services. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.